careful. This episode has a sign that says, Beware of the dog. I suppose if I told you there's a vulture outside that's bothering me, you'd say I was crazy, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. You see? A terrible, ferocious vulture! I told you! Oh yeah, I see. A horrible, fierce vulture waiting high in a tree for a victim to come by. I have a suggestion for you, vulture baby. I think you're facing the wrong way. I think you'll find more victims. I mean, the really good victims, the weakest, the ones who won't put up a fight. If you look in this direction. I also think that to be a successful vulture, you need to learn to not listen to suggestions. Ready, Linus? Linus? I'm scared to play anymore, Charlie Brown. A vulture is looking down on me. Oh, good grief. Do you know anything about vultures, Charlie Brown? All I know is that they're very fierce looking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's switch places, Linus. You go play over there and I'll play here. I don't think that this vulture is going to attack me. play with a vulture watching me. Snoopy's pretty good at this. I almost had the feeling that a real vulture was watching me. But real vultures don't get lonesome. sleep with his fingers crossed. <laughs> it keeps away the vampires. You guys are afraid of vampires? <laughs> Frankly, I doubt if either one of you even knows what a vampire looks like. It's all right, you'll be safe here. Downstairs, into the library, under the pool table. It's gonna be okay. I don't know where you guys come up with this silly stuff. It was midnight. She turned to the bedroom window. Suddenly, she saw a vampire. Peppermint Patty. You're the one who's been scaring them with those vampire stories? You ought to be ashamed. Just a little harmless fun, Chuck. They don't really believe those stories. Do you, Snoopy? I'm going to read you Alice in Wonderland. All right, I've often seen a cat without a grin, thought Alice. But a grin without a cat? <gasps> Snoopy's disappeared! I was reading Alice in Wonderland, and suddenly... There was nothing left but his smile? Exactly. He loves to do that. 
<laughs> he can't help himself. He calls it his Cheshire Beagle trick. Okay, now, that's enough. Well, I think we have a little problem here. He can't get back. What's going on here? Snoopy was showing off his Cheshire Beagle trick, and now he can't get back. Do you think it's a psychiatric problem? Well, it could be. Then again, maybe he's just lost his picture. When we lose a picture in our TV set at home, we just do this. This is going to work out fine. My TV repairman's bill is more than my psychiatrist's bill. <laughs> This is for you, Snoopy. It's from your brother, Spike. <laughs> to my dear brother, Snoopy, guess where I've been? I've been to Hollywood. Oh. And guess who I ran into? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse? He was nice to me. We sat and talked for a long time. I guess he's made a lot of money. I told him about how I live out here in the desert and how hot the sand can get on your feet. And then you know what he did? He gave me his shoes. I wanted to do something for him in return to show my appreciation. I offered him my hat, but it wouldn't fit over his ears. 